When it comes to packaging machines for primary packaging, a distinction is made between two types of machines, namely form fill and seal machines, or FFS, and fill and seal machines, or FS. In order to better understand the operating principle and structure of a form, fill, and seal machine, we will examine five essential process steps and applications in more detail. We will do this using the example of a cup filling machine. Step 1. Material Handling The raw material used for the cups is a roll of film, which often passes through a labyrinth of guide rollers and dancers on its way to the finished end product. Cup filling machines usually work on an intermittent basis, i.e. cyclical, whereby the tension of the film must be maintained despite the cyclical nature, and the film must also be prevented from tearing when the process is restarted. Step 2. Thermoforming First, the film is gently preheated with the help of a heating element. When the film has been heated, it is formed by the tool. Due to the forming process used within the filling machine, right-angled edges and undercuts cannot be created. Filled cups that possess these characteristics are produced in a separate machine and then filled in a fill and seal machine. Step 3. Cup Filling Process Before filling the cups that have just been created, a pre-check is carried out to verify whether a cup is located in the device. During the filling process, the fillers are initially lowered into the cups and then lifted back out again. If the mostly liquid or pasty foods are to exhibit a certain pattern or form in a cup, for example, cow patches in a pudding, the dispensers move in all three axes during the filling process. In the case of intermittent machines, the biggest challenge is to prevent the filling from spilling over when starting and stopping the process. If the filling spills over the sides, it would prevent the cup from being sealed in a clean and aseptic manner. A rapid startup and stopping procedure is important, however, as this can shorten the machine cycle. For example, on a typical basis, 10 cups are filled simultaneously with an average machine cycle of 1.5 to 2 seconds. This means that around 300 to 400 cups can be filled every minute, which is roughly equivalent to the average performance class of this machine type. Step 4. Cover Film and Sealing In Western Europe, most cups are sealed by heat sealing a cover film in place. This process depends on time, pressure, and temperature factors. These three factors must be precisely coordinated with one another, Otherwise, errors will occur during production. Step 5. Punching and Ejection During the final step, the sealed cups are punched out and separated from the base track and, in doing so, individual or multiple packages can be created. The leftover track is rolled up for disposal. Conveyor belts or pickers are then used to transport the finished cup packaging to the next station. For SCW Eurodrive, these process steps mean the automation of a wide range of motion tasks. Regardless of whether the drive technology is used for unwinding, thermoforming, cup filling, or sealing and punching processes, SEW Eurodrive offers the corresponding solution in terms of both hardware and software.